Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to go through module 5, Knowledge Check. My name is Sushant Sudesh and I am your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer Certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at the first question. What are some of the advantages of Azure Pipeline? Mark all that apply. So the correct answer is all of the options mentioned here. You can use Azure Pipeline, which can work with any platform, including Python, Java, PHP, Ruby, C Sharp, and Go. It can work with open source projects. You can deploy to different types of target at the same time. Azure Pipeline can be integrated with Azure deployments. And Azure Pipeline is built on Windows, Linux, and Mac machines, and integrated with GitHub as well. Question number two. What is a pipeline and why is it used? A pipeline enables a constant flow of changes into production via an automated software production line. And pipelines create a repeatable, reliable, and incrementally improving process for taking software from concept to customer. Let us look into question number three. What is an agent pool and why would you use it? The correct answer is, you can organize agents into agent pools. An agent pool defines the sharing boundary. In Azure Pipeline, agent pools are scoped to Azure DevOps organization. So you can share an agent pool across projects. Question number four. Name two ways to configure your Azure Pipelines. The correct answer is Visual Designer and using YAML file. Question number five. Name the four pillars of continuous integration. The correct answer is a version control system, package management system, continuous integration system, and automated build process. Question number six. You want to take your build server offline to make a configuration change and you want it to complete any build that it is currently processing. But you want to queue any new build request as well. What should you do? The correct answer is, you should pause the build. A paused build will not start new builds and will queue any new build request. Let's look at question number seven. You want to set a maximum time that builds can run for, and builds should not run for more than five minutes. What configuration change should you make? The correct answer is, you should change the build job timeout setting to five minutes. A blank value means unlimited. That concludes module five. In the next episode, we're going to look into introduction to security. So I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.